Okay, let's say you need computed data that changes according to what's happening inside your app and that's not available inside your backend. For example, here, I would like to bind the name of the person that's currently logged in inside the app. The thing is, he or she is not logged in inside the app, like the name would just be empty. And I don't want this. Maybe I want to write anonymous or gender. So to do this, I would use a function. To use a function, let's go to data, functions, and create a function. Here you can give it a name. So for example, get user name. You can give it parameters to take with a type. So as you would do in JavaScript. Here I don't need any, but you could add any, um, any number of parameters you need. And then you would write the JavaScript of your function. So here normally, I have a user when I have the of zero plugin currently inside the app and when there's a user. So instead to write the function, I already have done this here. I will write something like this. If not plugins dot of zero or not plugins dot of zero that is authenticated, return anonymous. Otherwise return plugins dot of zero dot user dot email. And that's it. Every time I will use this function in sign binding or workflows, it will give me the return of its current, um, it will compute basically and give me the results. So to show you this really quickly, let's go on the name, JavaScript, return. And you see here that in functions, I know of my functions, check user, functions dot check user. And that's it, because there's nobody currently logged in, it's anonymous.